Hey, this is Dr. Joffrey coming to you from the ER, board certified emergency medicine physician. In this video, you will learn about the Delta COVID variant. You will learn about monoclonal antibodies. You will learn about treatments using monoclonal antibodies. The world's changed. Things are moving fast and the Delta variant is here. However, there's some good news. We have a new tool, the monoclonal antibodies, which have which have always been here. Basically, they are man-made antibodies, man-made proteins that previously, once you were infected, um, we infused them in you and they were able to help um, slow down viral replication. Because don't forget, uh, the reason why the virus, one main reason why viruses are, are, are so bad, they get in, in your body and they replicate. They produce, they produce more, more, more virus. But antibodies, they stop that replication. Monoclonal antibodies, they slow that replication down. And now we have an emergency use for the monoclonal antibodies. Previously, they were mainly used for those over the age of 65. Uh, people over the age of 55 who had heart disease, diabetes, uh, 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 lung issues, people who were immunocompromised, people who were pregnant, people with chronic diseases. They're still used for that. Oh, and, and in addition, they were also used for people who were obese, who had a BMI greater than 35. We got new criteria, new criteria. One thing, uh, since I just mentioned it, the BMI that they're using, uh, body mass index, those are for ob obese people, and they use body mass index as a measure. If you have a BMI greater than 25, it shifted from 35 to, to, to like 25. I mean, if you're obese and overweight, you may be able to receive monoclonal antibodies. Not only that, this is what is key. If you simply have symptoms um, and you had a high exposure and you're not vaccinated, you can receive monoclonal antibodies. In other words, simply being exposed to someone, a high risk exposure, you are now able to take monoclonal antibodies. You say, well, Dr. Joffrey, why is that so important? Monoclonal antibodies have been shown to decrease death. Yes, they've been shown to decrease death. So they're using them for post-exposure, meaning that you're exposed to someone and you have a high risk of having a negative outcome, meaning perhaps you're unvaccinated, you're pregnant, you're immunocompromised, then you can receive monoclonal antibodies. One other thing, in the past, we used to have to give an IV infusion. There are some areas where you can get just a shot of these monoclonal antibodies. This is a game changer. This can save lives. Again, if you're having symptoms, if you've been exposed, meaning that you know someone's COVID positive and you were exposed to them, you may be able to receive monoclonal antibodies. Talk to your primary care doctor because this is a game changer. Hey, this is Dr. Joffrey. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to my channel and join me for my next video. We have this information coming because we're in this together. We're going to save lives. Be kind. I can't wait to see you in my next video.